Hello guys, this is Noob DM Ariel. Welcome to D&D &D Saturday. It's been a long time since I dropped a video, so I decided to go ahead and log on and um, try to get back into the swing of creating more videos um, on this channel. And um, uh, one of the reasons I hadn't really updated was I was trying to come up with a concrete topic to talk about. I noticed that, um, and maybe I'll just put it, put it out there, um, and you guys, if you guys can drop a line or leave a comment and see what kind of where what direction you want to see the channel go into. I noticed that um got a lot of um hits when I talked about MMOs or you know the MMO channel was popular when it came to Neverwinter, which is the D D uh Dungeons and Dragons, one of the Dungeons and Dragons MMOs. And also um there was a lot of interest or seemed to be a lot of interest on the older editions and second edition videos. So maybe I'll do some more of that. Um I've been playing a lot of tabletop role playing. Um, with my gaming group at the hobby, local hobby store. Um, and also I have been playing online. I haven't been playing uh, DDO as much um, or uh, any, uh, or Neverwinter. Stop kind of playing Neverwinter because I don't really know. Uh, I, it's got a lot of negative reviews now. They sort of deleted some um, of the aspects of the game that I, I kind of liked. Such, for example, the Foundry was really good. And they don't do that. They don't have that feature anymore. And the Foundry was a way. If you don't, if you never played Neverwinter, it was a way for um, uh, the uh, players to create their own dungeons and create their own. Um, uh, it was user created, a tool for user created adventures, which I really found unique because it, um, other than uh, RPGs and maybe Neverwinter Nights uh, back in the day, you didn't really see a game with that type of uh, flexibility for the players to create their own adventures. And I really miss that. And the other thing is, I'm not as huge. I wasn't never really as huge fan of the PvP system on Neverwinter. I played it; it was fun, but I always got the sense that I was getting destroyed. And I, I'll admit, I'm not great at PvP, but I always get the sense. I got the sense that even when it was supposed to be a, a, the same rank, I was getting destroyed by other players, and I, and it seemed like they were way more powerful. And I don't know if they were, it was just a, a pay to win, um, where you can purchase or you can, you know, get better gear or if they were just doing it um, straight through ability, but I never really kind of get got pretty far on the PVP side of things. Although I was doing PVE, so I stopped kind of playing that. Um, and I had other games that I was interested in, like DDO, which had the instance um, dungeons and um, Dark Age of Camelot and stuff like that. Um, so, um, and definitely World of Warcraft Classic. I came back to WoW Classic pretty recently last month when they had the, um, the uh, new freshers, dro uh, the, they dropped in the fresh servers, I should say. And I rolled up a character again. Um, and I was really interested in doing the um, hard Warcraft Classic Hardcore mode. And if you don't play World of Warcraft Classic or you haven't heard of the uh, Hardcore Challenge, um, it's basically, uh, like it says here in this background, this is Classic HC.net, classic which is the community website. And basically, Classic Hardcore is a community gaming mode developed to give by players, developed by players to give an extra level of challenge. Um, so you get one life, and if you die, you have to delete your care. That's the main thing. It's like a permadeath situation where you get one life. You, if you die, you have to delete your character and start all over. Or uh, if you don't want to re-roll a different character, you can also um, you can also start um, uh, leave it as a ghost. But basically, yeah, the, you, there's other rules, but that's the main, the main, main basically the main rule, and I, that really appealed to me for some reason. Because I gotta be honest, the questing in World of Class, uh, World of uh, Warcraft Classic, is not the most fun type of questing. There's a lot of grinding, especially in the early levels. Um, but uh, with the 40% XP bonus, I think you get a 40% XP bonus in the uh, open world in the fresh servers. So you get a buff that everybody gets right up from the onset. And it really helps in, uh, it's supposed to help in uh, speeding up the leveling. But what happens is if you're a casual and you're not really hardcore playing 40, 50 hours a, a week or whatever the hardcore is considered these days, um, it, the leveling feels the same to me. So it still takes a while to progress versus retail or versus other games. You know, retail is a little bit too boring and a little bit too, no, there's no, there's very little challenge there until you get to max level. Um, and so that's why. For that and many other reasons, the hardcore challenge appealed to me. And um, yeah, so um, right now they have the Road to Ragnaros event, which is basically a raiding guild 
of people in the French servers that are trying to get to 60 and are trying to get the rating without dying on one character, which is extremely hard to do. Um, and they, uh, yeah, so that's what, that's what I started doing. Uh, so primarily I thought today I will um, go ahead and play some World of Warcraft Classic and see how far I can take so far. I have two characters uh, on the Alliance side. I have Gristlebeard, which is a, is a hunter. And I like the, I used to be in a hunter guild, so I play hunter. And then, um, uh, let's see, there's the other realm where I have my horde character, it's Nightfall, that's what it is. I, well, I, I, I rolled up a, a, um, a undead, the very first one with skin and bones actually, well, it took him to level 10 and he pretty much died because he got um, ambushed by a bunch of uh, Morlocks. And so I wasn't really careful and he died at level 10. And so I had to leave him as a ghost. Um, what's interesting, about uh, also about this is that Blizzard for once actually listened to the players and they actually made the hardcore um, challenge or they make the hardcore mode a part of the game, an official part of the game of the classic server, the fresh servers, I should say. And so you can actually go to um, an NPC in a capital city and you can uh, get this buff um, where it actually, um, it's not a buff, it's actually like a marker and the marker tells you, tells the, the, the system whether you die. So it's uh, practically or impossible to cheat the system because if you die, you're gonna get like a little tarnished soul, your soul's gonna be tarnished and it's gonna say, uh, it's gonna indicate to the system that you, your character's dead and so that you failed with the hardcore challenge, which I think it's really interesting. And it makes, it makes sense so that you can get more invested in your character and you, it's not the same grind to try to get to level 60 where you can die and, and, and come, come back to life. But in the, in the hardcore challenge, you know, you, you, the, the theory is you get more, as you go, as you progress, um, you get more and more invested in the, uh, in your character. So I think that's uh, something that appealed to me. So hopefully the buffering is not bad on this because I'm playing, um, at a different speed on, um, I can't get the higher speed on my, on my router today for some reason. So bear with me. I'll, I'll see how it, it, it goes. If it's lagging too much, I might just stop it. But um, we'll take a look at World of Warcraft Classic um, with the uh, with the Hunter. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, hardcore challenge. Uh, let's see how we do with Gristle here um, and see if we can get him as close to um, a uh, higher level without actually um, dying once. We'll see how. I haven't actually logged into this uh, server for a week. We'll see some players. Right here. Den quest, and we need a couple more Wendigos to kill. And the Wendigo, there's a cave. Ah, if you've done this quest before, you're very familiar with this alliance quest with the Wendigos and the cave. There he is. Oh, he's a little too fast. We use my ranged weapon. That's still recharging. If I add a whole bunch, I can die. I gotta get out of here. There's way too many now. Run! Crystal beard, don't die! That's one thing in World of Warcraft. Uh, not like the older MMO, like EverQuest, where you know, the, the mobs will follow you. Here, if you aggro and you get a bunch of mobs after you, you can run away and hopefully you can shake them, which I just did. It took a while to shake them. Um, but you know, uh, doing a hardcore challenge, this is what I was talking uh, about here. You you see these um, Adventure Await Season of Mastery. This is the SOM um, well, World Wolf. It gives you a 40% dungeon and quest bonus experience. And right here, it's your Soul of Iron. So if you get this from the NPC, um, it'll say never, never known defeat. And that's how the system keeps tracks whether you die or not. Because if you die, 
and you're doing the chat. I mean, you could always continue. You can go back to the NPC and get and have him have this this um, marker removed. But the point of doing the challenge is to try to stay alive as much as possible without without experiencing a death. Because once your soul is tarnished, you fail the challenge. Um, and there are other rules. Maybe I'll uh, keep an eye on this character, but some of the um, unofficial rules that the community came up with. Um, I don't think Blizzard has adopted these rules. Let's see, let's go back up. Keep an eye that he's still alive. Okay, so um, here are the rules for the classic hardcore community. Um, so basically, the one death equals to you delete the character, you only have one life. You There are no restrictions on your professions. So you can have any profession and the talents, you can do any talents. Um, you can use all the gear that you want. Um, you know, if you get it from quest or drops or NPCs, but you cannot use the auction house. That's one of the major no-nos. You can't auction off your, your, your stuff. So no player to player mail, no action house. And, um, but you can use your personal bank. So if you have a bank out, that's allowed. Um, and, and you, uh, uh, there's a bunch of rules, but the main rule is one of the things is if you're out on the open world, so you need attack. So if you're out on the open world, you cannot trade with other players. One of the, it makes it a little bit lonely, a lonelier. But I wasn't paying attention, so I might have to run away from this beast. Because Chris O'Bear cannot die so early in his lifetime. Oh my god, come on! Run! I was afraid I was going to be talking and I was going to lose concentration, which I did. And now I am on the point of getting deleted. No, 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 no! Run! Run! Oh my god, I gotta get to the road. I gotta get to the road because this damn beard cat hits hard for a level 6 piece. Run, Grizzlebeard! Don't die, you noob! Don't die! Oh my god. Of course, I could heal, I could stop and heal him, but that would take time. And I don't really don't know, I don't really know the territory in Del Moro. It has been a while since I played Alliance. I hate the Alliance, as you guys probably know, or you may not know. But I like Hunters, and I like Dwarves. I think Dwarves are the only Alliance race that I actually like. Um, I hate the humans, <laughs> and I hate everybody else. Um, Night Elves are okay, but I'd rather play a Blood Elf. But they didn't have Blood Elves, as you know, back in the day. The Blood Elves, I think, came around um, in another expansion. I think um, maybe the Wrath of the Lich came expand. No, I think they were around the second expansion, which is um, uh, what the one with the... Um, uh, that's on Classic now. So it looks like we're safe for now. And um, we're going to have to watch our health. So that doesn't happen again. Frame rate wasn't too bad. We have another character here, Wayne Hunt. Um, she's running around doing the same thing that I am, trying to get to this early level, hunting down beasts and seeing how far. I don't think we can tell with another player is doing it. That's spell. I get some XP from killing this beast. 
and um, sit down, sit down a second to regain my my uh, stamina, my health. Okay, that should be enough by the time I get to the cave. Um, let's see. We use the who command. You can see that I haven't logged into the server for several days, but it looks like there are 38, 38 people playing currently. Almost 40 players. So that's not bad for a new server. Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. And it's um, about it's 4:28 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So um, on a Saturday, so it's not too late. It, you know. Um, early 7 o'clock Eastern. So these those players, they're right in the prime time. Let's battle this guy. And they don't really hit hard. That kind of slows you down. But he's no match. He's no match for my leader. See, he did drop a ring. Inventory so is the one away from completing his quest. The one away from the So that one was distracted there. We got that one in the back so I can hit him with my right hand. armor for the belt, 24 armor, but I don't think I have proficiency. I can't use that yet. So I can't use the, the higher level one. Um, I can't, what is this, bear fur? I don't use bear fur, because of that. I always like to keep the inventory uh, clear if I can, 35, in case I get, I get a rare drop. Like, we don't really get a lot of rare drops. I can't use level, that yet. But, you never know. I can't use that yet. Um, can I use? I can't use that no, yet. I can't use any of that stuff. So. See if I can get rid of Oh, she's. She's getting. There's a cave. As you can see, there's a couple of there people battling. I don't want. Hopefully, I don't aggro too much. This guy just ignored me because he was. Fighting the other. Oh, this guy's almost dead. I need a heart. You see, I'm not really teamed up with her, and if I did, it would be a violation of the of the of the power. You are not to the path of my. Okay, 
So there we are. And um, what I was going to say is I don't have, for some reason, I can't get Questy or Adams to work on this server. I don't know if it's the coding or if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, maybe somebody could tell me what the deal is with my Questy. I don't really need Questy that much because I kind of know. I sort of remember some of the areas and some of the quests in this, in this newbie zone. But it would be nice to have it for the later, later quests. Oh, I don't have herbalism. That's not what profession I have. You can max your profession here. Um, uh, I got mining. Yeah, I got mining. I forgot I got mining, so I can mine the nodes. And supposedly there's a lot, of, a lot more nodes for um, players to take advantage of for higher XP and leveling in this version of the game. But I really haven't seen it, so I don't know for sure. Let's kill one of these guys just for fun, because we don't really have the uh, ability to get... We have all the items. Paste. It's still recharging. Pretty quick. another one that I need to do. I just did the, that I need to turn in. Wendigo made to pilot stone gear. Where is he? I don't know where he is. And, and to be honest, that's one of the reasons that quest becomes in handy when you're trying to find this quest giving NPCs. I don't really remember where I got this quest. I don't think it's in this area. So it must be somewhere, somewhere else out here. I think these are the professions. Interest you on a fight? Be good. What can I do for you? Safe travels. I have the finest wires in the land. I think I only have one profession so far. Um, yeah, I got my... No, I got first aid. I forgot I took first aid because everybody should have first aid. Because what? That helps you make bandages. It's right there. And you can make... You can use your um, linens. Do I have any? Uh, no. Have like 
guys, Crystal Beard, the dwarf. Uh, he's at level 7, and I'm gonna try to get him to level 10 before I stop playing today, uh, since I have some time. But anyway, if you guys um, have any suggestions for topics other than my playthroughs here, go ahead and drop a comment, like I said, on the, the comments below. I'll leave a link on the description for the Hardcore Challenge in case you play in Classic and you want to know more about it. And um, good luck to all of you that undertake the challenge because it's not easy to get max level without dying, that's for sure. It's not easy to get max level in Classic in the first place, but definitely without dying adds another layer of complexity to the game that I, I kind of have been enjoying. 